Welcome to our channel where we convey the developments in the world. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. King Charles III promises lifetime service to the nation in his inaugural address as monarch. In his inaugural address as king, Charles III said he felt deep sorrow over the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, and promised to continue his lifetime service to the nation. Charles made his inaugural address to the nation as monarch on Friday night. He became king on Thursday at the age of 96 after the Queen's death at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. Handing over the address with a framed photograph of the Queen on a desk, Charles said he intended to continue his mother's legacy with a promise of lifelong service that I renew to everyone today, stating that he and the rest of the royal family owed you the most sincere debt as ruler and eldest. Charles also announced that his son and heir apparent, Prince William, would succeed him as Duke of Cornwall and as Prince of Wales. Today I am proud to found, William, Prince of Wales, Taiwisog Simru, the country whose title I have been privileged to bear for so much of my life and duty. With Catherine by her side, I know our new Prince and Princess of Wales will continue to inspire and lead our national conversations and help bring the marginalized to the fore where vital help can be delivered. Charles also mentioned his youngest son Harry and expressed my love for Harry and Meghan as they continue to build their lives overseas. In a heartfelt farewell to Elizabeth II, Charles called her darling mama and thanked her for your love and devotion to our family and to the family of nations you have served so diligently over the years. May clouds of angels sing your rest, concludes the king. Her speech was televised and streamed to St. Paul's Cathedral, where around 2,000 people attended a memorial service for the queen. Among the mourners in the service were the new Prime Minister Liz Truss and members of her government.